So Google Docs can make a simple pre-formatted table of contents for your document. To make the process a lot easier, we're going to go over a few setup items that you want to get right, and then we'll show you how to create it. So I have a relatively simple document right here, and I followed a few best practices when I made it, and I'll show you what those are. So if I go over to the left and I click on Show Document Outline, this is going to show First, the title, which will not come into the table of contents, but then it shows everything else that will be coming in. And this is a time to kind of get it right before you generate it. You can click through this outline, but what it's going to do is bring you to all of your headers. So this document just follows a typical structure where the most important items have a H1. So when you go to the toolbar here, you drop down the styles. H1 are the ones that are shifted all the way to the left. And then uh, this kind of subheading, if you will, is an heading two. And you look at this content, we go down to heading three and then all the way down to heading four. Once you have that structure in the document, the next thing that you want to be aware of is that you probably want to make sure that you actually have page breaks. So if I scroll down, I can see them. If you don't, you may have to go to page setup and then make sure it's on pages instead of page lists. I'll cancel out of there and we'll do one more step before we insert the table of contents. So we'll just go to insert and break. And I'm going to put a page break in here. If you don't do that, the table of contents will just push the start down below the table of contents, but it will all be on the first page. So let's go up back up to the top and now to actually insert the table of contents, go to insert table of contents. And you have three options here. Don't worry too much about which one you pick because you can change them later. So we'll pick plain text. And that gives you a nice looking table of contents. It's minimal. Uh, you can style it uh, all you want just by selecting the text. But we'll go over the specific options that Sheets give you just for a table of contents. So we'll go to these three dots, left click on them and say more options. So here, when we saw those three style options for a table of contents just a minute ago, I said, don't worry too much about which one you pick. And that is because you can change them here. So let's just do dotted. Uh, you can also do links. And when you click on those, it'll bring you down to the part of your document. This outline will do the same thing, but let me close that. So we're kind of assuming this doc is a, its own deliverable, not inside of Google Docs. So if you want links, uh, that's how to do that. Uh, but we'll go back to dotted and the funny option here is to show page numbers you think a table of contents would just always have page numbers because that's the purpose of it but i guess if you have links you might not want them so you can turn them off there if you want and then if we go back to the dotted option you can just change what the dots look like they call it a tab leader we'll change them to bigger dots and then there's one more setting that you can use, and that is to turn off certain heading levels. So if you don't want it to look like uh, this busy, so for example, this is only a five page document. Maybe you don't want this many items in the table of contents. You can come in here and you can say, well, let's not show the H4s. Okay, we'll take those off. I'm calling them H4 because that's HTML. I need to say heading four. Uh, and let's not show the heading threes. And maybe that's more what you want. You can also change the amount of indent. All right, let's say that's the way you want it. So your table of contents is done. In this next video, we're going to talk about page numbering, because if you don't just want the traditional one, two, three, four, it's a little bit tricky to get it to work right. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.